Hello. Quick update. I've made some useful updates to the handwriting plugin for Obsidian. Let's have a look at them. So let's jump over to Obsidian. Here we've got a, a markdown file, um, standard markdown file. I can write whatever I want, but um, I'm going to use slash commander and, or not in this case, just slash commands, the, the standard Obsidian thing. And I'm going to add a handwriting section. And you'll see straight away that what we have is new icons. So no longer these words, but just icons of what you want. Um, we also have a new fold out menu here, but let's first, if I, if I draw here, you'll see we've got a new undo icon and redo icon as well. Um, eraser, arrow, etc. Um, lock, lock icon. If I lock it, you can see there's an edit icon there. Um, new icons. Nothing special, but just making it a little bit prettier and a little bit easier to use. We've got this new overflow menu as well. If I click on that, I get a um, context menu to allow me to copy the writing. I might make this a bigger menu at some point, but at the moment I've kept it a context menu so it work. I know that it works with mobile and tablets and everything in the way that Obsidian usually does. Um, but I can copy that writing. And then I can come down here, I'll lock this one, and I can say, uh, I'll say writing again, and I'll say insert copied handwriting section. So now it asks me, how do I want to insert it? As a reference to the existing file, because remember this embed links to another file. Um, so am I just referencing the same file? Well, if I do that and I edit this, at the moment, I see it doesn't update this one, but it is referencing the same file. It just hasn't refreshed the page. I'll get to that at some point. But if I edit this one up here, I'll notice it is the same file. So when I lock it, you'll see they're both the same. The same thing is true is um, I can I can add this again. So um, handwriting, uh, insert copied section, insert reference to same file. Um, if I edit this, another way to see that update is if I were to close this and then open it again, uh, I think it was six, maybe it was five, yeah. Um, you'll see they all refresh just because I've closed it and opened it again. Um, same thing with drawing. So if I have drawings turned on, um, then I can insert a new drawing. I get a slightly different icon here, but everything else is the same. I can lock that. Um, whether it's locked or or in edit mode, uh, when I click on this, I can copy the drawing. That works in the same way as copying handwriting. But I can also open the drawing. If I open the drawing, now currently, if I edit this here, I can't move the camera. I can't reframe this. But if I open it, it's actually an infinite canvas, so I can zoom right out and I can draw wherever I want. I can pan, um, I can do whatever I want, and then I can click back up here and you'll see that that's updated. So for drawings, that's really useful. That'll be possible for handwriting as well in the future, but it's not the best idea to implement that now. I need to implement some other things. Um, but yeah, opening drawings and copying drawings. Now, what else is new in this? So, um, I can also, let me, let me delete all these. Oh, by the way, if I open that overflow menu, delete will appear here as well. So it's really easy to delete embeds, but I haven't done it in this update. I'm going to delete all that. And uh, I'll open the settings and there's, if I go to ink down here, I've added a couple of new settings. So first off, if you can't see drawings, it's because by default drawings are turned off. So turn that on if you want to do drawings. Um, in writings, we've got a new setting here that says write, writing stroke limit. Now you might remember that 
if you write in certain devices, the number of strokes that you can make in one embed is limited because it slows down quite quickly. So it's limited to 200. After 200, they start to disappear up the top. The older ones start to disappear. Let's demo that. So I'll make this 50. I'll make it 20. And I'll close this and I'll add a writing section. And I'll start writing. So let's say I do some words. Maybe, maybe I'll use my, my pen. Um, hello, how are you? This is a... Now you'll see here that text is disappearing up the top. And that's to make sure that the latency doesn't grow, that it's always really smooth and quick to use. And when I lock this, they all come back. Um, so I've set that to 20, so they disappear really quickly. But if I go to the settings, you can increase that if you want. I've found 200 is a good level for iPads at the moment. Um, that'll improve over time. And I've got a few things that I think I can do to drastically improve that. Um, but if you're not working on an iPad and you think you can push that further, feel free to increase that to 500 or whatever, um, or even like a thousand, whatever, try it out. But what you might find is that it starts to kind of, your, your handwriting gets really weird after a few, a bunch of different lines because it can't keep up. And so it's getting really jagged and weirdly smoothed. Um, but you can now play around with that to suit the device that you're on. Um, it won't save it per device though. It'll be global in the Obsidian settings. At some point in the future, I'll make it per device so that you can adjust that. But um, yeah, that's it. So that's everything. Um, so some updates to the user interface. Some updates to the um, the stroke limit that you can change, and then obviously these extra things like duplicating duplicating the file, the embeds, and uh, opening them as well. And that's it. Um, let me know what you think of this update. Um, have fun. Thanks for using ink. See ya.